everybody, welcome back to Wenatchee River Institute's Plant ID mini-series. This week we're going to be looking at a plant that's soft and very tasty, and it's covering the hillside behind me. It's called Thimbleberry. So this plant here next to me is called Thimbleberry. And thimbleberry can be found uh, all across Washington State along roads or trails or railroad tracks in places where the soil is moist and it's shaded. And today I found this thimbleberry along a road underneath big leaf maple and Douglas fir trees. So let's take a closer look at the thimbleberry plant. This here is the flower, and there are five white petals that make up the flower. Behind the flower here we have a leaf of the thimbleberry. And as you can see, they're pretty wide leaves. They can get wider than your hand spread out. There are our five lobes to every leaf, and the leaves themselves are quite soft. You could actually think of this as nature's charmin. And the stems of the thimbleberry have really tiny hairs covering the entire stem. But don't worry, these are nice and soft. And then up here we can see some berries beginning to form. Here they're still green, but in mid to late summer the berries will be bright red. And I highly recommend giving these a taste. They're 100% edible and very, very tasty. The thimbleberry gets its name because the berry itself is shaped like a thimble. And when you're picking the berry off of the plant, be very careful because this berry is a lot more delicate than, say, raspberries or blackberries. So be delicate while you're pulling them off to not squish them in your fingers. Thanks for taking a closer look at Thimbleberry with me today. A lot of local Pacific Northwest omnivores like black bears, American robins, and hikers know that Thimbleberry far surpasses the blueberry in both texture and flavor.